Hey guys, it's Mark with Hawkeye Ordnance. This is uh, part four of what will either be a four or a five part series we're doing on guns and gear. It's an update for 2016 of the original video we did about three years ago now. So um, we've gone through pistols, we've gone through rifles, we've gone through shotguns, and now we're going to talk about all of the other uh, crap that goes in my bag. So um, I wasn't quite sure how to tackle this until it was time to pack for the Vortex Presents Shooter Source three gun championships, that's a mouthful, down in Texas, uh, which we're leaving for in just a couple of days. So, I'm going to pack my stuff and talk about my gear. So first things first, um, we've got the guns in here, pistol, rifle, shotgun in my Safariland three gun bag. When I'm traveling for a major, I generally work out of a couple of bags because we're using them in the back of my truck. Um, at a local match, I will use this bag in my cart with uh, the guns on the side, which is easier for me. Um, but there just simply isn't enough room in the car for three or four guys, their gear, and all those carts. So, um, I've already got the guns in the bag. Um, we're going to go through this in something logical for packing for me, starting with my belt. Um, I am using the Safari Land ELS system. And um, I do use, uh, this is actually a CR Speed inner belt. They're a little stiffer than the ones that come with the Safari Land. Um, the only thing that's kind of interesting that I've added recently is this uh, carbon arm system here, which it's a ratchet system that allows you to tighten up your belt without, um, you know, it's got like all, lots of little midways so you can crank it shut. It seems pretty good. Um, it's taken a couple of whacks and it's doing pretty well. And that goes right here and here. Okay. And then um, also in this pocket we put the holster we're using. You've seen the video probably already. This is the uh, Safari Land. Uh, who is this? Sorry, this is the Blade Tech WRS system. Um, I've got a, an update coming on holsters pretty soon, but um, this is the one we're using for now. It's got that nice level two retention system. All right, well, that all goes in there, and then uh, inside the pistol uh, area, where I always bring two slings with me wherever I go. You never know. Um, these are both uh, the Vikings Tactical, the padded ones. Um, outfitted with a little modification to make it easier to, to grip them and uh, release the tension on them so you can get the gun into the game. These guys go here and here. Okay, so that's all that stuff. So we're gonna get this thing off the table. Now, uh, this is the bag I'm using. I think it's made by GPS. Uh, it's a rolling bag got the little extension. The reason I, I switched to this bag this year was that it's taller and skinnier so it fits better in my cart. Um, and what I generally do is put the stuff that I'm hardly going to use on the bottom. So um, that would be a couple things. I do carry, this is Tacom's um, chest rig. Gives me another, what do we got, 4, 12, 16 on there. So uh, if there's a, a good reason for a chest rig which comes up every now and again, we've got that with us. Don't use it very often, but occasionally you'll find yourself driving a golf cart or doing a bunch of prone and running around, and it's nice to have the option to be able to turn it around. Although my Carbon Arms uh, uh, caddies do a pretty good job of keeping the shells in place. The thing that goes in the bottom for me, and we'll go over mags here, is um, a pair of coupled 40s for shooting in those uphill positions. And then I do keep a pair of these guys still with me, the, uh, the old AP Custom Classics, you never know. These guys go down here at the bottom. And what else do we throw down there? Oh, um, I keep three of the um, Safariland ELS mag pouches on, up in the top section. I've got two spares with me that fill out the bottom down here to give me options in case I need more pistol or things break. Then I take um, the, uh, this tray I've got that actually came with uh, another bag I have that I use to sort out uh, my ammo and the rest of my belt stuff. So that guy goes in next. All right, so now we'll get to the heart of what we use pretty regularly. So um, this season, uh, as you've seen from my videos, I'm using the carbon arm system. Um, I've you know, kind of made a case for these already from uh, the intended function, which is uh, high shell density, high retention for um, matches that I like, which are the big train matches. So we've got 30 rounds of these guys. Go in there like so. And then um, this is a little side saddle I keep that occasionally when I've got a low round count or I need a couple slugs or buck, I'll use that or potentially those AP custom ones that we talked about. And then, oops, sorry, let's go over there. All right. 
And then um, the general loadout for the rest of my belt is uh, three of the um, caddies for my mag magazines, and then uh, one additional um, AR-15 pouch. And those all stay up here in the sort of regular rotation. Now I do have another AR-15 pouch that I'm currently modifying because I want to be able to um, take these ex these coupled mags and get them to ride low, like in a in kind of an unusual spot. So I usually have two of the AR-15 mags, uh, mag holders. Excuse me. All right. Then for magazines, um, my basic setup is I keep on hand <laughs> kind of a, a full mix. So for coupled, I always keep these 30s right up on top. So I use these a ton for table starts, for shooting prone, um, all kinds of good reasons. It's just a basic mag pull, um, and I like these. There's some really cool ones that are um, like Springer makes for the bottom, but these allow me to switch back and forth with different mags if I need to with nothing more than a, a flathead screwdriver. So those guys go in there. So, all right, and then I always carry two 30 round magazines. These, generally speaking, are my spare mag. Um, or sometimes it'll be a primary and a spare if 30 rounds makes uh, sense for whatever I'm doing. Those guys go in here. All right, and then we've got um, basically 20, 35, 40, and 45 round magazines. So these are just for all the different things one might end up doing at a match. Those guys go in here, here. Now we're all set with rifle mags. Um, now, I carry six total of the uh, SDI mags. This, these five right here, they're all labeled, are all standard SDI magazines, no changes. And usually I'll run these around 20 rounds, kind of like we talked about in the pistol video. And this one is um, the only one that I've got modified, and it was done by the guy that made my pistol. It's a McCormick follower with a McCormick spring and then Paul's custom-made uh, steel spacers in the back. And this guy will do 23 rounds, occasionally 24, but it's very hard to get it in battery. So, six bags. Let's go in here like so. And the reason they're labeled, guys, um, a really simple labeling system, but the reason for that is if they get dirty, I can pull them out of rotation um, until I get a chance to hit them with this, which is the mag brush. There's also some basic tools in this one, but I never use them. I just like the, the aluminum grip. So there's that guy. All right, uh, we'll finish up with tools. I carry a few things with me, because um, you never really quite know. Tool-wise, about all I carry these days on a trip is my guns are all clean and ready to go, and I'm usually traveling with someone who's got a full armory kit with them. So it's just a good screwdriver and, and bits my uh, multitasker, multi-tool, and my Lucas Oil. And those guys all run in here like so. Like that, and then my Lucas Oil will go down here with the rest of my liquids. So they're separated from the rest of the bag. All right, um, I also carry a couple of chamber flags with me because there are some matches out there that they require you to flag your, your guns, and just because you never quite know when you're going to need them, I just keep them in there all the time. All right. And then, um, a couple other little kind of important doodads that I really like. Um, this is the uh, JP's chamber checker for the ammunition, and honestly, this, is, this go, no go for ammunition um, is something I picked up after my gun blew up, and I keep it with me. I run all of my rounds through it every time. And then this is the, uh, I'll have to fly in the name of the company, I think it's a Little Crow, it's the sunshade for the Vortex Razor 1-6. to And I know that the match we're going to now, there's going to be quite a bit of long range and very well could end up staring right into the sun for that. Uh, let's see, just kind of finishing up tools, um, carry some glass cleaner with me and a lens pen. And those are good for just keeping your optics running or your sunglasses or whatever. All right. And then, speaking of optics, one pair of, you know, kind of high quality uh, sunglasses and one pair of high quality just clear lenses. Let's go in here. 
Here. All right. And then, uh, while we're on iPro, let's talk about Here Pro. Um, I keep two things with me all the time. Um, I run, these are my Wild Ear electronic plugs, and I basically can't live without them anymore. They're amazing. Uh, we'll be doing a full review on these at some point. And then a set of my Here Pro, these are the passive ones. Um, every now and again, it's just nice to have a full block out, especially if it's really, really windy, or if I'm going to be inside of a tunnel or something shooting. Gives me a little more hearing protection, so that's those guys. And we'll leave those out for just a sec, because we haven't quite gotten there yet. Um, well, before we pack those up, we'll throw these guys in here. This complete set of chokes. And I don't have all the um, extended chokes that I'd like, but basically I keep cylinder, improved cylinder, light mod, mod, improved mod, and full with a wrench. That gives me basically everything I need. Someday I'd like to have a diffuser, but we haven't gotten there yet. That goes in here. And then my handy dandy Ranger 1000 from Vortex. I can't live without this. Not only is it great because you can get range information, but it gives you a chance to glass long range targets uh, before you have to shoot them. So you get an, at least some idea of what a six power look is going to be at long range. Go here, and then the earplugs go on top. All right. Uh, what else we got? So, um, kind of the last two things that go in the major bag uh, are my Lula loaders, which I absolutely love. Just the little things, guys, make your life easier on game day. And um, so, what I'll generally do is I'll have my mags filled for the day based on whatever the matchbook says. Um, and then I have a hundred rounds spare of pistol and rifle on top of that. That should be more than enough for any game day. And then I'll just refill those at night or I'll carry a, a set of a couple of them with me. Um, and then maybe I might pack some slugs or something in there that I know I'm going to need the next day. Um, I try to keep all the stuff that I know I'm going to need in my bag so it's easy for me to get to while I'm competing. I don't have to think about it too much. All right, um, now let's talk a little bit about some things that you might not be thinking about. Um, knee pads, these are the Arcturx ones, and they're expensive guys, but man, they're, they're great. They're super light and very easy to run in. You forget you're wearing them after just a few minutes of having them on, and uh, knee pads are wonderful. I've been shooting with knee pads for years now. And then this year I added these, which are, they're really lightweight elbow pads made for um, like off-road mountain bikers. Uh, Fox is the company that makes them. And uh, they've been great so far. A little too early to tell, but something I'm definitely keeping in my bag for now. And then um, gloves. So work gloves are I mean, really, really important for shooting uh, matches. So we have two jobs in a match. One, of course, is uh, shooting the match as an individual. And then the other job is being part of the squad. And squads reset. Um, resetting is a mandatory part of what we do. And a good set of gloves makes that easier and keeps your hands free from injury while you're trying to shoot. So those are those things. And then, and a couple other just little things. I mean, obviously sunscreen and things like that. I do keep a pencil and um, and some paper with me. Like These are some of the stages from the Nordic Trigun. Um, it gives me a chance to write down and start figuring out round counts and things like that when the stages are complicated. Or just uh, you know, giving somebody a phone number or whatever. It's good to have. Can have a pencil, and I usually have a pen in here as well for whatever, and a sharpie. And then um, sunscreen, I am uh, as white as they come. That's pretty key. And then the um, last thing that goes along would be this guy. And um, I've tried to work 100% out of my bag with shot shell and stuff, but I find it to be um, cumbersome. And I also worry about mixing different uh, shells in my bag where I can't see them and so you know making sure that there isn't an errant slug or something in there and so I've been carrying this with me and uh, it's been pretty good so this is bird shot this is my traditional load which is this Mirage Cleaver 1145s and I'll have my specials in here uh, generally speaking that's these double A 1350s gives me a little more horsepower when I need it and uh, all of that kind of ride together. Now for the trip, I'll also have uh, a couple of more ammo cases with, because we'll be carrying, you know, a few thousand rounds of this 
various stuff to make sure we have what we need. But that's the gear that I'm using this year, guys. And the way that I pack it, I'll, I'll get some shots in here of the, of the bag as you see it. And uh, we'll go from there. So I um, hope you guys are well. I hope this series has helped you figure out uh, maybe, if not what to buy first, what to buy second, how to do it. Um, we really appreciate you guys watching and all the support for the channel. Thank you guys for everything. And God bless. <laughs>